Hi guys, uh, you might be wondering what is this video and this channel about, so I'm gonna explain briefly in this kind of boring video. As you might have guessed from the video in the background, I'm a hobbyist who likes technology, like 3D printing, electronics, computers and so on. And I've came up with an idea to create my own electric vehicle. Since everything I make has to have a real life usage, I've made a few project assumptions. First of all, it has to be economically profitable. I already have access to a car and my main use for it would be driving to school, as it would be, because of a few things. My current car has a gas usage of about 12 to 18 liters per 100 kilometers, with current prices in Poland, which are about 1.2 dollars per liter, it makes drive to school a few bucks each day. But I live near paid parking zone, which is also a bit over one dollar per hour. It makes it extremely unprofitable to park anywhere near the city center, which includes my school. However, electric vehicles can park everywhere for free in my city. Second assumption is that it has to look somewhat cool. I don't mean that it has to be the old classic car, I just mean that I want people who see it to go wow. At the same time, it's a good idea to choose a car that won't be too hard to modify and legalize, but more on that later. And the third, I guess the most important thing, is that it just has to be mine. I wanted to design as much as I could by myself, of course with the first assumption in mind, that is economics. If something was hard but could have saved my money, that's what I went for in my design. However, sometimes my ideas weren't that good, and I'm gonna tell you about it in the next episodes. Given all that, I've decided to go with the following setup. My base will be Fiat 126P, often called Polski Fiat or Maluch. Uh, I will explain it in the next video with additional details. My components are sourced from Golden Motor, Kali Controller and Litokala Shenzhen battery. Uh, and they will be connected as shown on this poorly drawn schematic. The motor along with the controller will be connected to the power using the main relay, giving me ability to cut off the power to the motor while I'm not driving. But the 12 volt installation that's already inside the car will work even when the power is cut off. It has to power critical systems like anti-theft or battery cell monitoring. Battery will be connected to everything uh, using safety switch uh, that will give me ability to cut off the power if anything goes wrong. In the next few months I will be creating videos with detailed description of every element so that if anyone wants to create his own electric vehicle he will know what to watch out for and have some starting point in general. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed my uh, Ender 3 printing parts in the background and some poor shot of my uh, Fiat 126P. And I hope we will see each other in the next video.